Hi everyone, here's a quick look at the funky new gradient utilities added to Tailwind CSS since version 1.7. Let's apply a background gradient to this shape. The first thing we need to do is apply a BG gradient class and specify the direction of the gradient we want to apply. We can choose between top, top right, right, bottom right, etc. Let's pick right for now. As you can see, nothing happens at this point. The next thing we need to do is define a color stop. Tailwind's gradient utilities let you define up to three color stops, from, to, and via. The only required stop is the from color and we'll define it now. Let's go with from teal 500. And now a gradient starts from teal 500 on the left. Note that since the two color stop is not defined, a gradient fades to transparent. If I set the background of the parent element here to BG white, a gradient will go from teal to white. Let's quickly look at a couple of directions. So I'll go with BG gradient to TL for top left. And you can see now the gradient starting from the bottom right and going towards the top left. Let's make it go to bottom right now. Okay, next thing we'll do is add a two gradient stop and we'll pick the green 300 color for that. As I mentioned earlier, we can add a middle color stop with via and we'll use blue 500 here and we now have a gradient going from teal to green via blue. I'll change the blue to purple 500 just to make the via color stop a bit more obvious. Here we go. Here's another cool effect you can achieve with Tailwind's gradient utilities. We'll take this giant headline here and apply a background gradient going from left to right and we'll make it go from purple 400 to pink 500. While this actually looks pretty cool like this, we're going for something different here. But notice how the gradient fades from purple to pink line by line as the text wraps. Okay, so check this out. We'll make the text transparent here, and now we only see the background, and we are going to use a background clip utility and set it to text with PG clip text which will only let the background show through the foreground text. And there you go, we now have a color gradient applied to our headline text.